Hello guys, today we are very honored to have invited a brilliant young guy from Switzerland called Jeffrey to our program. Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, hello guys. Yeah, uh, please introduce yourself a little bit more to them. As you uh, said, uh, yeah, I'm from Switzerland. I came to China around five years ago and oh. meanwhile I built my own startup. Oh. I, uh, came to China actually as an exchange student from Tsinghua uh -huh. and after that I worked at the Swiss Embassy and from there I started my own uh, startup which oh. now is the biggest platform for foreigners in Beijing and oh. we are very influential when it comes to that. We help uh, companies to find interns mm -hmm. in the different companies. Also if you are looking for interns Guys. You're, the, you're the right person to talk to, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I see. So you mainly um, choose foreigners in Beijing to find uh, internships, right? Uh, it or, is. Or you including Chinese? It is uh, as well? for everyone, actually. For everyone. Oh. The thing is that we mostly uh, post and write in English. Mm -hmm. So if there are Chinese there, they're mostly bilingual, which is actually very good because a lot of companies mm -hmm. are looking for uh, bilingual people, right? Yes. So that's uh, the we work a lot with international companies, actually. I see. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of curious. In the beginning, you were exchange student, then you worked in the embassy. Now, how did you get the idea of um, having this startup to you know to do the internship business? Yeah, well, I think it's uh, very simple. I'm, I'm really a doer kind of uh, person, so I really like to do something. Uh -huh. I cannot just sit in an office and, and type my stuff. And I, see. I want to create stuff. Make a difference. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I'm like, I call myself like a, an entrepreneur from the heart, so I wow. really have passion for mm -hmm. creating stuff. I so see. from there, eventually, I, I must have ended up like an entrepreneur, I think. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. That's kind of like a dream come true. It really suits you because you have the entrepreneurship, the spirit in you, right? Yeah, I think like, honestly, I think I'm, I'm not different than any other person. I think like really like, you know, I was a student. There's millions of students out there mm -hmm. and I just had like the passion to, to go for it. I believe in it. Mm -hmm. Then I, I talk about it, and then you achieve it. So I think, like, real, you have to have this passion in you, and then anybody can do his own stuff. You just have to find something that you are really interested in it. I see. And then you can do it. Then you really just do it, right? Just yeah. like make yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have, have you have the idea, do it, and make it, make it like tangible, make it real. Exactly. It, I think it's really important that you that you stick on your idea and then you focus on it and then you say like, okay, I want to do this and then you figure out like uh, how you can do it. You meet people like having the same mindset. Mm -hmm. So they're influencing you a lot. So if you meet other entrepreneurs, like Beijing is awesome. Mm -hmm. like, you have a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of uh, startups. NetEase is also one of these companies that came out of zero and exploded. Yes. So you have these people in Beijing. I so uh, it's the perfect place to, to develop new ideas, you go to meetups, you, you, you talk to these people and you, you just get this inspiration and, and you just want to do it as well. I see. And, <laughs> and also people are like, attract each other. Right? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's really cool. Yesterday I went to a, 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 an event, a networking event, uh, and it's, it's really cool. The people all there, they're like listening. So how did this guy manage to grow his startup? Um, and, and, and everybody there is just focusing on this, like, okay, how can I do it? Even the um, people that don't have startups, they think like, hmm, that's inspiring. I want to do the same. So I see. They have the curiosity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That, that also really kind of the first step to help you learn. Yeah, yeah, clearly. It, it's very good to learn it with these people. Great. I mean, these people, they, they didn't learn necessarily. I mean, of course, they went to university maybe or to yep. college. They have basic knowledge. I mean, they're not stupid, right? Mm -hmm. But the difference is that you learn a lot outside of the university, so yeah. with, with these people. So I think, uh, yeah, you can, you can learn a lot from them. Yeah, yeah. We have a saying actually from Confucius, like wherever there are three people, they, are, they can always find a person who can be your teacher. It's like also learning. <coughs> another, another term related to it is like learning doesn't always happen in, in universities, yeah. in classroom. Outside the university, the outside classrooms, you still learn, sometimes learn even more. Yeah, because you spend more more time outside the classroom, right? Because studying in a university in school is just a short period of your lifetime. 
Yeah, yeah, clearly. No, 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 I agree with that. <laughs> we have, for example, in Switzerland, we have a different system. Yeah. In, in Switzerland, you, like here, everybody has to go to university. Like, it's like, yeah, you, it's basically the way you have yeah, to do like it. Yeah, it's like life-changing kind of uh, threshold. Exactly. In yeah. Switzerland, after, uh, before university, actually already in high school, you can decide either you're going to continue for university or you start with an apprenticeship. So oh. meaning that you already learn the, the work that you're going to continuously do. This could be an electrician, mm -hmm. this could be something like that. Vocational training? Yeah, yeah, something like this, right? So mm. it's with 16, you already decide, okay, I want to go for this track. And then you have like a three-year development. So you go to, to this job, you work there. You also have school beside it, but you have work experience after that. I see. So with maybe 19, you're already full-time employed and, and you're three years experience. So it's, it's a really good system. And then the other part goes to university and, and they have the academic knowledge. So it's two different ways of uh, approach. Oh, good, good. Wow. So that's like two different paths you can choose. Yeah, right? definitely, and, uh, definitely. It's really good if you are at that age, at that age, you are able to make the right decision for yourself. You should know what you really like, what, what you really want to achieve in your life. That's good. That's a bit different from, from China because China, I think majority of them will, will try to, you know, get to university to try to pass the entrance examination uh, to get into count. university. <laughs> if they fail, maybe they will, alternative is to, you know, to get another training in the vocational field. Yeah, but actually, so it's different in your country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's also different with the with the pressure of the parents and stuff. So yes, yes. It's like actually, my father told me like I should go for an apprenticeship, but I just didn't know what kind of apprenticeship because you're making like a life uh, changing decision with sixteen. So you're yeah. basically saying, okay, no, I'm gonna go for this field, and yeah, obviously you won't change the field later on, so you're gonna stick with that. So I wasn't on the position to make this life-changing decision so yes, I decided that's a lot of challenge, a lot of yeah, challenge yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's a lot of responsibility as well with 16 you're young you know you yeah. have so many years ahead so uh, many things out there for me to choose from sometimes yeah. it's a bit hard to choose definitely once you choose something you may think about I may be losing something you gain some you lose some it's always cho choosing something sometimes a really risky really. thing Absolutely, absolutely. Well, speaking of the, also the, <coughs> the company that mm -hmm. you, 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 you have, and the um, internship, actually most of our audience, I think, well, lots of them are college students who are maybe looking for internship opportunities. And in your opinion, as a student, maybe in the last year of, you know, of the graduation, what are some qualifications, what are key factors that shall be looking for when they try to find the right internship? Well, as I say, like we're in China, right? So yep. uh, it's all about Guanxi. Has... Guanxi. Oh, you know yes. Guanxi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, it's very crucial. I, I think it's the easiest way to find an internship is, of course, if you know somebody in the company. Yeah. So this is a, this is the easiest way. Mm -hmm. And in order to know them, I mean, obviously, if you come from another province to to a mm -hmm. university in Beijing, chances are very low that you don't know anyone right oh yeah so you have to meet these people so how do you meet them that's the question that you have to ask yourself mm -hmm. so depending on which field you are like maybe you're studying engineering maybe you're studying uh, finance mm -hmm. so you can it's i think it's always crucial to go to networking events networking events i think is very very important in china mm -hmm. you go to this events you just like talk a little bit to the people you you make your own business card it's a very good idea actually for students as well you don't have this yeah, 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 yeah. And then but you write down like I'm a graduate student at Tsinghua or whatever. So this oh, is like, you know, I, I see, because yeah. people in China, it's still tradition, even though there's Weixin and, and, and uh -huh, this yeah. is also very important, exchange Weixin with the, the people. But, you know, there's always give your uh, business card with the two hands to, to somebody important and then yeah, he already looks at you, sees your face, has something in his hand. Yeah. So later he will remember. Yeah, you never know what... Yeah, when the opportunity will, will, will come, right? Exactly. Once you have this kind of, um, it's kind of like, a, like, like when you're fishing, you put the bay out. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You just put as much uh, stuff outside there and somebody's going to pick it, you know? Exactly. And, okay, and that's good, that's good. And also, you take courage. Yeah, yes. yeah. Most, yeah. Some Chinese people are quite reserved. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree. Uh, but there's one thing. I mean, 
it's no problem to just, uh, it's online, right? You just mm -hmm. inscribe for the event, you go there. All right, I think there's no problem. Chinese have no problem to do that yep. and to go there. The problem that they maybe have is that they're very shy and they're waiting in the corner. They don't know who, who to talk to. Yeah. But there's one thing that I always tell the people. What is that? Everybody at networking event is there to network. So mm -hmm. you don't have to be shy. Like everybody else is in the same situation. Maybe oh. some of them don't know the other people neither. You just like go out and talk to someone. Mm -hmm. And because you know, he's not going to slap you. He's not going to be angry at you for talking to him. He's exactly. just going to, maybe if, if you have topics that are not interesting, then yeah, he, he will like maybe stop the conversation after a while. But you, you, there's no problem with that, you know? Like mm -hmm. just, just be open-minded. This is everything. Like being open-minded is anyway very important. Like if you uh, talk to the people, uh, being open-minded, that's also a very important skill nowadays, yeah, yeah. right, for companies. So just go out and, skill. and talk to the people because the others are in the same situation. They're also shy. So. Exactly. You Just remember, you're not alone. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and also you are, by talking to people, you never know the person you're talking to may know some person that can really get you what you want. Right. Yeah, that's the key. That's what I always say. Really? Really, <laughs> really, because like, I mean, I started my business with, with other interns, like really young people, and I went to them to ask them, hey, does your company look for someone? Mm -hmm. So eventually they gave me, of course, the contacts of the HR and, and the higher level people. So I, I asked these very normal people, students, and, and this, is, this is how I grow my business. Never okay. underestimate the person talking, talking to, you. to you yeah exactly because you never know like you maybe never, his father is a big guy or exactly. i don't know you, you never know. know when you can find a gold mine <laughs> yeah be open-minded and, and give everyone a chance i think this is very crucial great great well excellent can you tell us some i mean you know i'm sure you have helped a lot right helped a lot of, of students uh with your with, with your platform can you give us some specific examples of certain people uh, found great internship, working in a certain company and that uh, let you, you know, fundamentally change his or her career in the future. Uh, that was yeah. Really, yeah, quite inspiring, I think. Uh, I, I just want to mention, like, we have two different models, right? So we have, the, we look for interns uh, that are already in Beijing. So we help okay. the people that are, the companies that are looking for local people. This is also for Visa a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, we also have cooperation with universities abroad that they bring their people to China for half a year oh. and on like maybe Chinese classes at the university. And then they go in the afternoon, they go to an internship. And I think those guys have the most uh, life changing moments. Uh -huh. So uh, examples could be, for example, uh, exchange students from Mexico come over to, to China and, and, and then they have Chinese classes, you know, they're students and, and they like to go out, they like to party, yeah. so, so they, they expect this and, and they're actually also doing that, but then they realize, hey, China is not only about, like, I'm now maybe 20 and I'm out and party, I want to do that, but then they realize, hey, actually, this is, this is great stuff. For example, we had uh, some interns coming from Mexico going uh, for internships at uh, Lenovo. Uh -huh. and, and that's a big company, you know? Yeah, no, so, no, yeah it's in, just in around the neighborhood. The corner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not far from here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you have to see these guys come there and then they expect, okay, yeah, maybe I just go for an exchange and I do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And then they realize, hey, this is a big opportunity. And then they realize, especially if they work in this area here where our all the big uh, uh, internet giants are from China are here, right? Mm -hmm. Not only NetEase, but as I said, Lenovo and others are around here. So they, they realize, hey, this is, this is, China is like really insanely growing and there's so many business opportunities. Mm -hmm. So these guys, they not only maybe think about uh, staying with Lenovo or the same company, but they think like, hey, everybody here is like so motivated, so eager to, to build something. That, that they, they get inspired by the other people and, and then they, they just want to do it as well. So yeah. a lot of them actually, they, they have half a year visa, right? They stay here for the university yes. and then they go home, they finish the university and they're back or they come even back the next half year just to, to continuously work here or, or try to even, I mean, of course, then there's the visa issue, right? But they, they, they'll find a way like Chinese school or something like that 
that they can stay here and, and keep the flow and, and, and building their own stuff. So this is like really insane. I really love this. Oh, very good uh, positive impact. Yeah, so yeah Everyone is trying to, you know, they, so they, they kind of find out it's not just about partying, right? And you, it's, it's not about well, to be motivated like others, to make a difference like others. They don't want to get left behind and they want to stay in China more. I think it's exactly more. the right age, you know, that's mm -hmm. the, the age where you are still like young and independent. Yeah. And, and then you, you hit the market and then you realize, okay, yeah, maybe life is different. You know, it's not, it's not all about like hanging out with my friends. It's, it's about your career, it's like uh, career development, going to the next stage and, and, yeah. and planning your future. So I think like obviously China is a growing econ economy yep. and uh, there's a lot of potential here. So that they really realize it when they are here. So this is life changing, I would say. Wow. Good, good. It's good to hear that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So can you t share some of your future plans with us? Uh, my personal future plans? Mm. Uh, well, of course, uh, trying to grow our own company even mm -hmm. bigger. Uh, meanwhile, we are we started as an internship platform, mm -hmm. but meanwhile, as I said, we are the biggest platform for uh, foreigners in Beijing. Oh. So we have a lot of uh, influence, and mm -hmm. we are basically KOL, key opinion leaders for foreigners in China. Mm -hmm. And also, we we work with the government together to to not only connect our people, the foreigners, with careers in China, mm -hmm. but also to connect them with culture, yep. which means like uh, China is very interested in international culture mm -hmm. and also to expand their culture to other countries. Yeah. So having a lot of foreigners already in the country, that's the, that's the point where they can really like take influence and, and uh, explain to these foreigners how China uh, works and the whole culture, how it how it uh, is done here. Mm -hmm. So, so this is a good platform for them. So we help them basically, uh, the government to, to connect foreigners with the Chinese culture. This is through cultural festivals. We have one in Chongde, in Hebei, uh -huh. coming up after the Chinese New Year. After the Chinese New Year. Yeah, 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 after Chinese New Year. And then in March, we have one in Tianmen, in Beijing. Tianmen. Oh. Yeah, so okay. these, are, these are really like uh, places where they are looking for foreigners, you know, that also, the, the local Chinese gets to gets to know the different cultures. Maybe they didn't go abroad, oh. but they can still like experience the culture within China. So we are really trying to help. Okay, that's to, good. Yeah, to connect I'm, all I'm this. looking forward to attending those. Uh, definitely, I'll events. let you know. And it <laughs> Thank is, you. Definitely, no, no. Excellent. And then Excellent. Uh, some other plans that I have is uh, I'm involved in a lot of startups and in the community here. So uh, I'm also doing some uh, a tourism data collection. I so we yeah. help to to uh, the different governments and different tourism boards in China, but also abroad, to analyze their tourists and to improve their uh, service, of course, right? So I we see. have a data analysis reports and marketing strategies. So I can kind of uh, sense you're really, um, your person who really like to help people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. They help the people um, from outside China to really get the best experience. Yeah, I mean, China. I, I'm here yeah. now for five years. I, I love the culture here. I mean, I, I'm really, I, I feel integrated into China, uh -huh. and I want other people to feel to, the same. Yeah, to, to know, <laughs> have the same joy like, that, that I have. Like, I, I come from Switzerland. In Switzerland, there's not. It's not like the the people are very eager to go to China because Switzerland mm. itself has already a very good economy and, and oh, yeah. growing and. So there's no need to, to find the Chinese dream, right? Uh -huh. So we are already established. But when, when I came to China, everybody was asking me like, why China? And I said like, guys, if you didn't realize China is the future. So meanwhile, they, they see what I'm doing and also my friends back home, they're <laughs> saying like, okay, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe China is not so bad, you know? So I'm really trying to, to influence them as well to tell them like, guys, like China is really the place to be. If, if you want to grow, if you want to establish yourself, then, then go to China, learn the language. And after that, you, you, you open the world to yourself. Yeah. It will, yes, expand your horizon, open your eyes. Clearly, clearly. Oh. International thinking is always important, I think. Like, is it China or other countries? I think international experience is very crucial as well for career. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Wow. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, and <laughs> also 100% agree with you. Perfect, see? <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay, one more question. Please. Um, speaking of um, previously mentioned about networking events, mm -hmm. some, some of the students may want to know where they can find the good networking events that are suitable for them and easy for them to, you know, to integrate, mingle in those 
uh, networking events? Uh, yeah, well, as I said, it depends always on the on the field where you are, right? Like mm -hmm. engineering or, or stuff like this. This is always different. Also, if you're in cryptocurrencies, there's different mm -hmm. stuff. So we basically, we, we do also a lot of um, uh, networking events and, and career development events uh, mm -hmm. that we, you can just find them on interns in Beijing oh, uh, okay. on our WeChat account. So you can just follow there and we will always inform you about the newest events. Mm -hmm. But also there's... there's uh, a lot of good platforms that you can just search on, on Baidu, I guess, <laughs> right? And, okay. and you can just type in like meet up and then whichever field you're looking I for. I think meet up in Chinese or meet up in English. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would actually... Meet up in Beijing. There's, yeah, there's actually it. pages like that. I think like meetup.com. That, oh, that you oh, really? okay. find some stuff. And mm -hmm. but, but I think like there, there's a lot of platforms that, that you can find uh, different uh, events, especially for your field. So actually, if you follow us uh, on WeChat, you will be informed about all these platforms. So you, you oh, can okay. learn a lot. That's, so good, that's good. Depending on which field you're looking for, you, you can find the cool events. So I think mm -hmm. at the moment, one of the most crucial uh, uh, networking societies is, is cryptocurrency, I think. Like, even though it's not, cryptocurrencies are blocked in China, but the, the idea, the blockchain behind it is very interesting. And I, I'm looking around here like it's a growing community. So oh. this is also a future, future. topic that uh, interns watch out for that. Blockchain, I think that's the future. So if you have basic knowledge in that, it's easier to find jobs with this. Oh, so, uh, okay. That's like, a, yeah. good. Oh, that's a, always watch that's out for new technologies. I think this is also important. Always, every day, learn, mm -hmm. try to read articles and, and uh, try to be ahead of the game for everything like because a lot of employers want people that are like going to the next mile you know like mm -hmm. extra efforts that are, are developing themselves so stuff like this i think it's really crucial so if you, if you know a lot you read a lot and read articles then you you can establish yourself very well also and yeah, follow career. the trend you have yeah, 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 yeah find out what what is trending at the moment yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what technology is new definitely be the pioneer the usually the pioneer gets most benefits absolutely absolutely it's it's of course risky sometimes but you yeah. know the benefits are huge exactly i mean there's this case is just yeah in risky is just normal right exactly. it's like a venture right nothing venture nothing game and, yeah. and the best thing about it is you have nothing to lose Oh, if you yeah. learn about it and nobody cares, well, okay. So uh, well, yeah. you learn it for yourself, but exactly. it's not nothing that is gonna like have a bad influence on you. Exactly. It's always positive to Ex learn. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a matter of time, right? Mm -hmm. You learn something, maybe that doesn't apply immediately. You never know when in your exactly. life in the future because you exactly. have a whole life, a lot of things ahead of you. Maybe in a few years' time, you never know. Something will just come out. Oh, something I learned previously can really help me now. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. Like Excellent. a lot of uh, interesting skills, like a lot of uh, development and companies are saying that the next really important skill set is soft skills, right? Which is soft like skills, yeah, emotional yeah. intelligence, uh, uh, communication, yeah, networking ability, critical thinking, exactly stuff like this mm -hmm. is, is very crucial. And I think like this is easy to learn in communities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is this is also helping for the future. So maybe just now they're more looking for hard skills, but you learn it now and in the future when they're really just focusing on, on soft skills, then you have it. So exactly, yeah. So that's an example. Never stops learning, right? To never build hard skills and the soft skills yeah. at the same time. It will definitely uh, help you yeah. in the future. Try to be ahead of the game, learn a lot, read a lot. I think like read a lot is very important. Like yeah. try to, to read the articles, uh, follow maybe influential people that in your field. So maybe if you are in in, in uh, engineering, there's maybe one guy that is really intelligent oh. about that stuff. So you just follow him, read his articles, and also like maybe I don't know. In, in if you are working with WeChat, you follow the WeChat follower, uh, founder, WeChat in influencers. Yes, exactly. Founders, yeah, founders yeah, are influencers, yeah. right? Yeah. So find so the, find you, your own role model, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if you're in startup, well, this is also a topic that if you want to do your own stuff, then you can also uh, uh, follow us. We are also trying to <laughs> give some inputs because I really try to, to engage the, the community in making their own startups. I really like into that, have some passion for it. Good for you. <laughs> wow. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, I guess we're kind of um, time. We gotta wrap up here now. Uh, before yeah, no we finish problem. up here, do you have any other words you'd like to say to your audience? 
Yeah, well, what should I say? Guys, uh, I think like the career is ahead of you. You have a big chance. Lucky you are in China, most of you, I think. So yeah, try to take this advantage. Go out, try to meet people, build Guanxi. That, that's over generations, that's what you had to do in China. It's still there, even though a lot of people are saying it, it's losing itself. But take the Guanxi, build it, try to uh, follow influencers. And, and you have a lot of opportunities there. And I think like if you have passion, if you believe in something and, and if you talk about it, like influence people about your ideas, you will achieve anything you want. So I think this is the crucial thing that we can learn today. And I hope you liked our little conversation. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much. So Alan, it was a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Wish you all the best. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.